what is going on everybody welcome to week five which is going to be the last week of the terraform for all free course on youtube and today we're going to switch things up a little bit now i know in week four i said that we were going to take a look at some more terraform code but going back i feel like we kind of did a lot of that already so what i want to do is i want to talk about something that's just as important as writing terraform code and that's testing terraform code so we're going to be using something called checkoff now you may be wondering at this point, you know, what is testing infrastructure as code? Well, when infrastructure as code took off and it became popular, it was kind of thought of like way differently than application code. And the reason why was because the different types of engineers that were using it were like systems administrators, infrastructure engineers, you know, all the people in the infrastructure space. So it was used way different, but today infrastructure as code is used by a lot of different people infrastructure pros, developers, SREs, DevOps folks, etc. And now that it's being used by developers, the understanding and importance of testing infrastructure as code is becoming very well known. And why is this? Well, because developers are, you know, essentially used to testing code. And at the end of the day, code is code. All code should be tested regardless of its use case. So let's go ahead and dive into this here. So first things first, I have our code from last week here. And what I'm going to do is I want to get check off up and running, but I, so I already have it installed, but I'm going to go through with you what you'll need. So first things first, you need to have pip installed, which is Python's package manager. And if you don't have that, just Google, you know, Python install and ensure that you install pip with it. It should come with a package. So I'm going to run pip three install check off. Right, and as you can see, all the dependencies are already met because I already have it installed, but nonetheless, it's gonna go through and update. Now these errors here, if you receive them, the reason why is because I don't have the permissions to install, and the reason why is because I didn't open up VS Code as an administrator. So if you get these errors, just open up VS Code as an administrator and run the pip commands again, or just open up a terminal. Okay, so now I'm gonna clear my screen here, and what I wanna do is I wanna type ls. Now the reason why is because I want to show that I am in the directory with my main.tf. Those are going to be the resources that are going to be tested. So now I'm going to run checkoff minus D dot. Why? Because it's going to be looking in the current directory. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run that. Okay. And as we can see, all of my tests actually passed, which is interesting. I thought <laughs> that I might have a failure or two in here, but all my tests have passed. We can see here five checks have passed, five, or I'm sorry, zero failed, and then zero were skipped. Now, what's really cool about this is it's showing you what's being tested, the policy that's being tested, and it even gives you a guide. So if you click on this guide, like let's say you had a test that failed, if you click on the guide, it'll actually bring you up to like a troubleshooting page, which can help tremendously. So check off definitely went above and beyond here with that showing that guide and essentially like literally creating a guide for every one of their policies now speaking of policies you may be wondering well how does checkoff actually scan like how does it know what tests to run well checkoff actually has their policy as code already determined so there's like pre-built default policies already there however you can update those policies and create new policies however you can create new policies and you can even see this output via UI, which is very, very important because, you know, let's say that you're running this locally, but like other people want to be able to see the tests. How would they do it? Well, they can actually use the bridge crew UI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear my screen here and I'm at the checkoff page here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click try bridge crew. Then at this point, I'm going to click get started for free. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign up. So I'm going to use my GitHub to sign up. And now I'm gonna start putting in some information. So the org name, I'm just gonna put Terraform for all. I'm gonna click save. Okay, and now I have a UI here. Now again, why do we wanna use this UI? Well, I think it's important if you wanna be able to show other people what the code looks like and to be able to create your own policies. So as you can see here, we're gonna to have to do some connections and we'll do those connections via the terminal. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and Go to the integrations tab. Okay, I'm gonna click on API token, all right? And then I'm gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna say connection, and then I'll click create. 
Okay, so now at this point I have this API token here. So now what I need to do is I need to run a command via the terminal. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back here. I'm gonna type that. And I just went ahead and just copy and pasted this from the website. So again, check off minus D. I'm gonna put the dot here. And then the BC API key. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy my API key. I'm gonna paste it in. And then I'm gonna run. Okay, and as we can see, the test ran successfully. And we can see more details here. So we didn't see that before, but if we go back to the UI here, we can now number one, see our new integration. And if I go to the dashboard here, we can see five active policies. Now we can see the policies that were run. For example, zero failed. If I go to incidents, we of course have no incidents, but if I go back to the dashboard and I click on past, we can now see all of the tests that passed and any type of guidelines, anything that needs to be fixed, et cetera. And so this is really cool. We can see, you know, exactly what's happening from a policy perspective and so can others, which is really, really cool. And then another thing that's cool is we could also download the results. And that's how you can get started testing infrastructure as code and even setting up a nice free UI for yourself. That way others on your team can view it. Everybody, I wanna thank you so much for watching this course. I really do hope that it was helpful for you. I really hope that you learned something and I hope that you enjoyed the content. Please feel free to subscribe for more content. More and more will definitely be coming as always all around SRE, DevOps and programming topics. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time.